A narcissist will never give you closure after the relationship ends. Not having closure leaves victims feeling fearful, vulnerable, unworthy, guilty, and anxious. My name is Lisa, and I'm a relationship coach who specializes in abuse education and recovery. So here are eight ways that you can give yourself closure, and I've added a bonus way at the end that you have to hear. Number one, acknowledge that it was abuse and realize that it was not your fault. Number two, allow yourself space to grieve and to feel sadness, anger, confusion. Number three, seek support through friends, family, support groups, or informed therapists or coaches. Number four, set a boundary and go no contact. If you're co-parenting, go essential contact only. Number five, you can journal using a blank notebook and write down your experience or use a guided journal like the Trauma Bond Recovery Journal. Number six, focus on the present by letting go of the potential of the relationship and who you thought they were. Number seven, forgive yourself for your perceived mistakes. The abuse wasn't your fault and realize that you didn't know then what you know now. Number eight, find the closure within yourself. And this means focus on your own healing, your self-care, setting goals, and creating a fulfilling life. So here's the bonus tip. Let the disrespect be the closure. Healing takes time, so be patient with yourself and seek support when you need it.